Hello Stockbox family, I'm Stockbox and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing ChargePoint. ChargePoint is a company that offers charging stations for electric vehicles. Let's discuss. Today it says, could ChargePoint stock help you become a millionaire? Well, that's yes and no. There's many factors to whether or not you can become a millionaire owning ChargePoint. Let's talk about some of them. Uh, one would be, how many shares uh, do you actually own? You're going to have to buy enough shares for it to, uh, to make a, a big difference to get to you know, the millionaire status. The other one is going to be the entry point. Where did you buy into the stock at? Did you buy into it you know, at its lows? Uh, did you buy in somewhere in the middle? Or did you buy in at the all-time highs? So that's going to be you know, uh, something to consider there. The other thing is going to be your time horizon. What, uh, you know, what kind of time are you working with? Are you working with one year, five years, 10 year time horizon? Uh, all of those are gonna be uh, you know, key factors in determining whether or not you get there. Uh, last but not least is gonna be performance. Now, performance is key because if the stock doesn't perform well, it really doesn't matter about all of the other factors because if a stock basically plummets or becomes stagnant and you can't make any money, well, it, all of the other things are pretty much irrelevant. So speaking of performance, that's exactly what we're about to discuss right now, this particular company's performance and how we can make money. Let's go ahead and jump right in. It states right here, with the exponential growth in electric vehicles, the need for electric uh, vehicle charging infrastructure cannot be overemphasized. Okay, so EV charging companies, including charge points, seem to be in the right place at the right time. Now, let me go ahead and share this with you here, why I also feel that way. On the screen here, it shows here, subscription revenue is key to charge points growth. So I'm not gonna read the whole article, I'm gonna kind of skip around a little bit here, kind of to make my point. It says in the physical fourth quarter, uh, which ended January 31st of 20. Uh, 22, ChargePoint grew its revenue by a staggering 90% year over year. Now, for the full year, the company's revenue rose 65% over the previous year. Want to hit millionaire status? Let this company keep hitting numbers like that. And not only will you get there, I'm going to get there right there along, uh, right there alongside you. Okay. Now, it says ChargePoint's strong revenue growth reflects a soaring demand for changing infrastructure for the full year. Okay, so when we talk about subscription revenue, let's kind of go ahead and put a visual to that. So here's a lady right here on the screen here, if you're looking at this. She has a subscription card for ChargePoint, and she's holding, and now she's getting ready to charge her vehicle up, and she's holding it up to the charging station that's going to identify who she is and allow her to charge her vehicle. This is kind of what this whole thing is about. This is the, uh, not only is it a land grab situation where a lot of the charging uh, companies are trying to, uh, you know, trying to get as much land as they possibly can to build out their infrastructure. And I'm not just talking about just buying up plots of land. I'm talking about partnering with car companies, uh, grocery stores, uh, you name it. Uh, so depending on what part of the country you actually live in right now, you may be experiencing or seeing exactly what I'm talking about. So why is subscription such a big deal and so important? Well, this is going to be a, a big part of how these companies make their money. And when I say make their money, I mean I'm talking about margins here. Okay, so let's take a, a quick look at uh, this article right here. It says, on average, it costs somewhere between 30 cents and 60 cents kilowatt per hour to charge an electric vehicle. Now, therefore, this means that a small car could cost about $11.50 to $23 to fully charge, while a bigger car could cost somewhere between $22.50 to $45 to charge up. So now you may be getting my point when I'm talking about subscriptions, okay? No, it's not. It, it, I guess you could say it's kind of like buying a Netflix subscription, right? Netflix goes out and they try to get as many people as they can to basically buy a subscription, all right? So it's, it, it generates revenue for them. 
uh, and it also generates their cash flow. Well, it's no different here when we're talking about these charging stations out there trying to sell their uh, subscriptions. Well, the charging stations that's probably going to win out is the one who's the biggest that can go out there and basically build out the biggest infrastructure, right? And so let me kind of give you an example of what I mean when I say that. If indeed you were to open up a bank account and you open it with a bank and they don't have any other banks other than just that one location, and that one location is five miles away, but there's another bank that's right next to them and but they have 10 locations and one of them has happens to be less than a mile from where you live more than likely you're probably going to go with the bank that has more locations charging stations are not going to be any different okay so let that kind of sink you in there for a minute now charge point uh could be one of the most electrifying stocks uh of this year going forward okay they're already the biggest it states right here, so far we know President Joe Biden wants to build a national network of a half a million electric vehicle charging stations on the nation's roads. Well, if you live where I live, which is pretty much in the middle of the country, depending on where you, where you are, I just haven't seen that big momentum push into the uh, electric vehicle market. Yes, I see uh, electric vehicles on the road all the time. I see Teslas out there, uh, but I don't, um, I don't see a whole lot of other vehicles that are competing with them at the moment. And I think the real reason is, is because there's no charging stations, or should I say there's not enough of them, all right? You may see, you may spot one here and there. Maybe you run into a grocery store and you'll see a charging station sitting there. But most of the time, they're not being used, and there's just not enough of them. That's part of the reason why I personally haven't bought a, an electric vehicle. I would love to own one. And when I can see a, 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 a time when I'm driving out of my garage and down the street and I start to see more charging stations uh, than I'm seeing gas stations or gas pumps, uh, then I guess what? I'm going to be all in when it comes to purchasing them. But one thing I do know is, is, is that we are lagging way behind right now when it comes to where we need to be in this country when it comes to building out our charging station infrastructure. It says right here, electric vehicle demand is speeding up. Now, remember, global leaders want millions of electric vehicles on the road. I'm not talking yesterday, right? So even better, global, uh, global uh, electric vehicle sales more than doubled in 2021. And that's year over year. In fact, according to Green Car Report, Stephen Elstein, automakers sold more than 6.6 .6 million plug-in vehicles in 2021, which more than doubled the 3 million sold in 2020, and more than tripled that, uh, the 2.2 million sold in 2019, according to the International uh, Energy Agency. Well, so much for what I think when I say I barely see them, right? Well, I'm only telling you my side of it, all right? So, a lot of these infrastructures are being built out. Like if you go to California, you see a lot of infrastructure being built out out there, right? So as I stated before, um, President Biden is um, and Kamala Harris, they are really driving this initiative to basically uh, have more than 50% of the cars on the road by 2030. We got a lot of work to do. States right here, President Biden has you. Um, has uh, has united auto uh, makers and auto make, uh, auto workers to drive American leadership forward on clean cars, and has set the ambiguous target of 50% of electric vehicles sales uh, by 2030. Well, we got a lot of work to do, but what that really does is is what that sets in place for a stock like ChargePoint. That means that it has a lot of runway in front of it. Because if we're just at the beginning of this thing, and that means that at some point between now and 2030, there's about to be an explosion into the EV world. The question is, about that million, uh, can you become a millionaire purchasing this stock? And that's why I said depends. Where are you getting into this company? Where are you buying into the stock? If you're buying into it right now, which if we take a look at this chart right now on the screen, you'll see that uh, ChargePoint is sitting at $17.47, right? 
if we look right here uh, on February the 23rd uh, of this year, the stock was at $12.38. I would say that, that that's getting in at pretty much at the beginning. If you can get into this particular company right around in here, or even at the $17.47 range, I would say that you're about to get ready to enjoy uh, a lot of growth in this company. And just maybe that article may come true for you. Looking at this right here, we're looking at just from that time frame back on the 23rd of, 20, uh, uh, of this year of, of February to March 9th that has been a 41% increase in the stock. You would have basically made a 41% uh, return on your investment if you had just bought it here, okay? So that gives you some indication of just how quickly you can grow your investment when you purchase a company like ChargePoint. And that's not to mention all of the great things that are about to come with this particular, uh, with this particular stock. This, this company is getting ready to soar, take off. And yes, I am an early investor in ChargePoint myself. So I want to basically grow right along with this company. And I want to grow right along with what President Biden speaks of when he says he wants a half a million uh, charging stations out uh, uh, in our country uh, by 2030. And uh, I think if you get in on the beginning of this thing, um, you're going, to be, uh, you're going to be extremely happy uh, with the returns. Now, that being said, if you, if you listen to this channel at all, you know that I'm a realist. And I'm going to say this. I believe that ChargePoint as an investment would be, uh, is going to be great for the long run. So if you're someone and you're like, okay, uh, I want to become a millionaire investing in ChargePoint. I'm going to hold this for the next 10, 20 years. I think you're going to be good and you're going to make a ton of money. Whether you're going to make a million dollars, that is yet to be seen. But we're living in very difficult times right now. I believe that we are in a bear market right now. This stock has been beaten down along with many other stocks out there have been beaten down. We still have the escalation or, well, it's actually not an escalation. It's a war going on where Russia invaded Ukraine. Okay. We still don't know what's going to happen uh, with that situation over there. So if you were going to get involved or invest in ChargePoint, I'm going to have to ask that you uh, dollar cost average into it. Okay. Now you certainly have the right to do whatever it is you choose as an investor. Because anything that I say, uh, it, it's not, uh, it, it, it it doesn't mean or it doesn't give way for you to either buy, sell, hold, or trade any asset. All right. But I do want to see you make money, but I also want to see you do it in a safe way. So if you were to get involved with this particular company, dollar cost averaging is probably going to be the best way. Take a small position in the company. And then once you do that, uh, then kind of dollar cost average up as the stock moves up, okay? Don't go all in here and then all of a sudden the stock retraces back down to these levels right here and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you find yourself in a hole. So let's, let's practice safe investing from that regards. Let's take a quick look here at what uh, Tip Ranks is saying here and what some of the analysts are, are talking about when it comes to charge point. Uh, so as you can see right here, uh, it looks to me like 11 analysts have rated this stock a moderate buy right now, and they're putting a high price target on it of $34 uh, with an average of $25.27, okay? So if you think that uh, this is, um, that this right here is uh, a company that you feel that, um, that you're basically going to be investing in uh, for the long haul, uh, please do give me a comment down below. If you like anything that I had to say, or if you got anything out of this uh, video, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.